evolutionary relationships. In this lesson, we will look at the science and engineering practices of analyzing and interpreting data, constructing explanations and designing solutions, engaging in argument from evidence, and obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information. Our cross-cutting concepts include patterns, structure and function, as well as stability and change. The fossil record. The history of life on Earth, shown by fossils, is called the fossil record. The fossil record shows us how organisms have changed gradually over time. As a result, the fossil record can be used to show the process of evolution. Interpreting the fossil record. A graptolite is a type of extinct animal. These two images show graptolite fossils. The rocks are of different ages. What changes do you notice? Use this information to describe how the species evolved over time. Graptolites are extinct marine animals that existed between the Middle Cambrian and the Lower Carboniferous ages. They were colonial animals with two basic parts to their skeleton. Stipes or strands and theca which are the tooth-like structures that housed individual organisms. The older fossil shows graptolites with multiple st uh, stipes and downward pointing theca, whereas the later fossil shows graptolites with only one stipe and upward pointing theca. This is a trend seen in the fossil record for the species. Over the time in which they existed, graptolites evolved to have fewer stipes and upwards pointing theca. Specimens between the ages shown here show various transition stages between these two states. Common ancestors. An ancestor is a species that another species evolved from at some point in its evolutionary past. A common ancestor is an ancestor shared by more than one species. The fossil record can show how different species evolved from common ancestors. Fossils have revealed many structural similarities between living and extinct organisms. Studying limbs. These diagrams show the bones inside the limbs of some organisms. Acanthostega is an extinct animal, so evidence of its bone structure comes from fossils. What similarities and differences can we see? Acanthostega is an extinct species thought to be a missing link between fish and tetrapods. We can see a similar bone structure in these organisms. They all have an upper section made of one bone and a lower section made of two bones. This suggests that the organisms share a common ancestor. So let's look at the fossil record of horses. Some of the earliest organisms thought to be relatives of horses had differences. As we work our way through the fossil record, we notice this idea of descent with modification.
Early ancestors of the horse lived mainly in forests. As forests shrank, the horse's ancestors evolved in response. They became larger, longer-legged, and moved on tiptoes to be better adapted for fast running in open plain grasslands. Embryos. We can also find clues about evolutionary relationships from embryos. This picture is of an 11-day-old mouse. An embryo is an animal in the early stages of growth, before it is born or hatched. These images show the embryos of eight different species at three stages during their development. Let's compare the first series of pictures. What similarities might you notice? Are there differences to be observed? Do you know which one is human? Now quickly compare. What trends do you observe in the embryos developed from stage to stage? Which embryos are easiest to identify now? Control of embryo development. It is hard to distinguish between animal embryos during early development. This is because all animals use essentially the same toolkit of genes to control their early development. As embryos grow and develop, other genes are turned on and the unique features of each species become apparent. This series of pictures shows the development of a bat embryo at different stages along its development. The genes that control the development of body plans are known as Hox genes. These genes are present in most organisms. They control the development of body parts in similar ways. For example, versions of these genes control the development of both fruit flies and humans. Mutations in Hox genes can cause structures to appear in the wrong places. Evolutionary relationships. What do the similarities between embryos and the presence of Hox genes suggest about evolutionary relationships? They provide strong evidence that all animals share a common ancestor. Relationships between species. We can use embryos to help us identify relationships between different species that are not obvious from the adult. Which two of the following species do you think are the most closely related? Fish, turtle, bird, and pig. Do the embryos of these organisms provide any evidence? 